Welcome back, everyone, to our series on textual criticism. We have been working our way through the Hebrew Bible, and we just finished up the short series on the Masoretic text family. Now we're moving into some of the other major sources that we utilize in Old Testament textual criticism, and today we're going to take a look at the Samaritan Pentateuch. And again, we're looking, uh, we're working with Emmanuel Tov's textual criticism of the Hebrew Bible from which we're getting much of our information, so please use that as a valuable resource. So today we're going to look at what the Samaritan Pentateuch is, its origin, and it's the uh, earliest manuscript that we have, and then finally the general character of the text. So what is the Samaritan Pentateuch? Well, it's the Hebrew text of the Pentateuch preserved by the Samaritan community. It is a consonantal text, so it generally speaking, does not have vowel pointing. The Samaritan community did have some vowel pointing that he used sporadically, but generally speaking, no. And you can see it off to the right there. It has a special script, and let's look at it a little more closely. This isn't the greatest picture in the world, but you can see the script. You know, if you know Hebrew, it looks like Paleo-Hebrew script. So when we consider the origin of the Samaritan Pentateuch and the earliest manuscript that we have of it, we see that the origin is unclear. So in some ways, like the Masoretic text tradition, we don't know exactly when it started. So the script that is used um, has been thought to be very ancient, uh, as it looks like it's Paleo-Hebrew script, but as it turns out, uh, we can date the script, at least with some degree of certainty, to the Hasmonean dynasties, so the 2nd century BCE. Uh, so it's, it's relatively late in that sense, or Perhaps a better way to say it is it's no, it's no earlier, no more ancient than the other sources that we have. The earliest manuscript that we actually have, though, comes from the Middle Ages. So manuscript ADD, 1846, comes from the 12th century CE. Um, so, you know, this is, this is what we know of the origin, and this is the earliest manuscript that we have. Now, what is the general character of the text? Well... Early on, there was much more freedom on the part of the scribes to amend the Hebrew text. So there was uh, harmonizing, uh, linguistic corrections. They would change the content, the morphology, the vocabulary. They didn't change it substantially, but they, they did feel f much more free than they did later to, to change the text. And they had ideological changes. So, for example, Jerusalem is often replaced with Mount Gerizim which makes sense for the Samaritans. So that's the Samaritan Pentateuch. I know we went through that kind of quickly, but essentially what you, sh what, you, what you should take away from the Samaritan Pentateuch is that it's another source, another tradition of a substantial portion of the Hebrew Bible, and it was transmitted separately, and so it's another witness that we have to, uh, to the Hebrew text and another tool that we can use to try to reconstruct um, what was originally put down in the in the Hebrew uh, autograph. So tomorrow we're going to start looking at the text from Qumran. Yay! So tune in for that and see what uh, kind of manuscripts came out of the Judean desert. See you tomorrow. <laughs>